in Oman. The surgeons at Astor Royal Al Rafa Hospital set out to save life of a 38-year-old patient by removing the rare skull-based tumor completely in a complex 11-hour surgery, creating a landmark moment in the nation's treat in Oman vision and its rise as a destination for advanced healthcare. I had this condition for several years and it was a very difficult time for me. I visited and consulted with so many doctors and hospitals and all of them had the same thing. This is a very risky and difficult procedure. Because of how difficult it was, according to the doctors, I knew I needed very extensive um, medical facility to, to support with the surgery. This continued for years until I came to Oman. It started in 2018, when we discovered that my eye was getting swollen, my right nostril was blocked, and I had a lot of difficulty breathing. I had other symptoms as well. And as a result of this, I did a surgery back in Nigeria, but the tumor came back. After that, I continued to search and all the hospitals I approached said it was a very risky procedure. It was a very difficult procedure. One night, I found about this hospital online. I read about their abilities to perform very complex surgeries. I read about the specialist doctors that they have. And for the first time, I felt a spark of hope. In February 2025, I came to Aston Royal Hospital. I came with all of my fears, but still hoping that this would be my last chance. Michael's case was led by Dr. Khalil Ibrahim Mackey. Dr. Mackey brought together a specialized medical team, including Dr. Aliakdan Al Ghafri, consultant oculoplastic surgeon, Brigadier Dr. Shashivadanan, Professor and Senior Consultant Neurosurgery, Dr. Abdullah Al Jadidi, Consultant Neuroanesthesia and Head of Anesthesiology, Dr. Narendra Kumar, Specialist, Anesthesiologist, and Dr. Vidya Bhagavan Panika, Specialist ENT, and supported by skilled nurses and OT staff. The first time I met Michael in my clinic, that was a few months ago. He was a man with no hope in life. He was hiding behind his big black sunglasses. Michael, after his unsuccessful surgery in back home, he lost hope. No one has given him a single minute of hope that he will go back to normal life. But when he appeared in our clinic, the only thing that we were able to give him hope that he will be back to normal life. We set up a teamwork, several meetings with several specialities. We formulated the plan of action and we decided to go in the day that he agreed and all the teams agreed on. So when Michael presented to my OPD, it was a scary sight to look at him in the first place because he had a right eyeball which was protruding out of the orbit and threatening to fall down with complaints of progressive proptosis. In the layman's term, what we would call it is as a protrusion of the eyeball outside the orbital cavity. So this problem has been there for last few years, but it had increased to such an extent that it was threatening his vision in the right eye. On further evaluation with the images, we found that Michael had a huge sinonasal mass. The tumor which could, we could see in the CT and the MRI had involved all the sinuses. It had gone into the orbit on the right side and it had also extended into the intracranial cavity, thereby dangerously reaching very close to the brain. So obviously, involving three different areas of the head and neck, it required specialists 
to tackle this tumor in the three different compartments namely the ENT surgeon for the sinus mass the oculoplastic surgeon for the intraorbital tumor extension and of course the neurosurgeon to tackle the tumor which was into the brain so on the day of the surgery michael was wheeled into the operation theater and i was the first one to start the procedure i did a bifrontal craniotomy in which we took out the bone of the frontal region that is both the parts in the front doing a single flap craniotomy after exposing the bone we could see that the tumor had infiltrated into the cranial cavity but luckily it had not gone into the brain it was very closely abutting the brain but not infiltrating the brain so therefore the part of the tumor which was in the sinuses were removed and we lifted the brain away from the tumor the aim of lifting the brain from the tumor was two one is to separate the tumor and the normal brain and the second is when we went to the skull base we had the advantage of having vascular control because all the blood vessels which supplied the tumor have to be coming from the skull base going on to supply the tumor into the eye and the nasal region with this vascular control in hand we were in a very good sound position to carry out further excision of the tumor from the nasal end and the orbital end following this once we had adequate hemostasis i handed over the operation and the further steps to my colleagues that is the ENT surgeon and the oculoplastic surgeon once the balance of the tumor was removed by the ENT and the oculoplastic surgeon next came the step of reconstruction so again i began they began the reconstruction of putting the skull back suturing the scalp sutures and my ENT and the oculoplastic colleagues they went about closing and giving anatomical continuity to where real incisions we had made the day of surgery was a very stormy day surgery lasted for almost like 11 hours with the teamwork at certain times at certain point of times we kind of lost hope ourselves that we'll be able to help him but with the teamwork with the caliber of the expertise that we have soon after surgery michael was back to normal life i could see the difference in his life when he came for the first follow up in my clinic he was full of joy and for the first time i could see a sense of humor with michael then i realized that we have succeeded again to bring him back to life i'm very happy i'm very delighted that this type of surgery this complex type of surgery was done in oman in one of the prestigious private hospitals that's royal astor hospital This case is a testament to the fact that Astor Royal Rafa Hospital can cater any kind of complex surgery and we promote treat in Oman where both Omanis and expats can receive all levels of care without international travel in a private setup. The surgery was one of the longest and most complex skull base operations performed in the private sector in Oman, requiring three teams, lasting nearly 11 hours and ending in complete removal of the tumor. Within days, Michael's breathing was clear and his vision restored. Life after the surgery has been amazing. All of the symptoms I had, they're completely gone. My sense of smell is back 100%. I sleep very well now. I no longer have to wear dark shades. The swelling is almost completely gone. And I look forward to a very great and bright future. A future where I don't have any restriction to do the things that I love to do and to be the kind of person that I want to be. Astor Royal Hospital didn't just treat my tumor. They gave me back my health, my confidence, my future. Astor Royal Al Rafa Hospital has achieved what was once thought impossible treating a rare high risk skull based tumor that had spread to the brain and eye This landmark case showcases advanced surgical expertise cross speciality teamwork and clinical excellence in Oman Through a unique blend of cross speciality teamwork world class facilities and compassionate care Astor Royal Al Rafa Hospital 
offers new hope to patients from regions where such treatment may be out of reach. Here in Oman, complex cases don't just find treatment, they find life again. That's why we say, treat in Oman. <laughs>